Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Shefe test or the post hoc analysis for one-way analysis of variance in Microsoft Excel. So the Shefe test is just one of the post hoc analysis that we could do in Microsoft Excel. If you want this test to be reliable, you need to make sure that you have an equal sample sizes. Though it could also be used for equal sample sizes. And in this discussion, we will use F sub S as the representation for the test value. And it is equal to the difference between the means of the two groups that you are comparing. Quantity squared divided by the square variance or the variance of the within group times 1 over n sub 1, which is the sample size for the first group, and n sub 2 here represents the sample size of the second group. And if you want to get the critical value for the Shefe test, we just need to multiply the degrees of freedom for between groups times the CV or the critical value of the F test. How about we use our previous example in uh, my video discussion about one-way analysis of variance in Excel. So here, a researcher wishes to see whether there is difference in the weight gains of athletes following one of these three special diets. So the first group took diet A, the second group took diet B, and the third group took diet C. Now, after six weeks, their um, weight gains in pounds were recorded. And here's our data. Now, since we are comparing three means of uh, individual groups, therefore, we need to use the one-way analysis of variance. So by going to the data ribbon, data analysis, we will choose ANOVA single factor. And of course, our input range is this one. Then labels for the first row. Our alpha level is 0 0.05 and the output range will be placed here. And we have now our analysis of variance table. Now we can see from this table that the test value is greater than the critical value and the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So therefore, we need to reject the null hypothesis. Rejecting the null hypothesis tells us that there is a statistically significant difference between the mean weight gains of athletes following one of these three special diets. So since the null hypothesis was rejected, we need to do post hoc analysis. And here we can see that the sample size for each of these group are not equal. So therefore, we can use the Shefe test. To perform the Shefe test in Microsoft Excel, we need to prepare this uh, table containing the pairwise comparison. Here we are Comparing diet A from diet B, we can also compare diet A from diet C and diet B from diet C. And for the computation of this formula or for this test value of the CFA, I divided our computation into three columns. For the numerator, which is the difference or the square of the difference between the two men, uh, means of each diet, and for this column, I have the FS denominator, which is the mean square variance within groups times this. Okay, so here we have the final value, which is F sub S. Now, let's start with this row, comparing diet A and diet B. For the numerator, all you need to do is to type equal sign, then open parenthesis, get the difference of the means of A and B. And we can see here that the mean for diet A and diet B is 5. So we need to subtract that 5 with this mean, 10.17 for diet B. And then close parenthesis, square this value because in the formula, we need to square the difference of these two means. So press equal sign, then we have 26.69. Let's do this with the remaining cells. We have here diet A and diet C, so we need to subtract the mean of diet A, which is 5, minus the average or the mean of diet C. Quantity squared, 
and we have this. For the last one, we have diet B and diet C. So we have 10.17 minus 4.5 squared. Now for this cell we have the FS denominator so we we'll need to we need to follow this formula MSW represents the mean squares of uh, the within groups or the variance for the within groups so here we have equal sign then uh, the within groups MS is 6.53 times 1 over n sub 1, so meaning 1 divided by the sample size for diet A. So the sample size count for diet A is here, which is 4, plus 1 over the sample size for diet B, which in this case is 6. So close this one, and we'll have 2.72. Doing this for the remaining cells... We'll have A and C, we have 6.53 again, times this A and C. So 1 over A, and then the count for C is also 4. Then the last one is 6.53 times... The count for diet B is 6, 1 over 6, plus 1 over 4. So notice that I just typed the specific values here instead of choosing the cell. So either way, we'll have the same result. And since we now have the numerator and the denominator, all we need to do is to divide these values, divide the numerator, which is this one, and the denominator which is this part so choosing this we'll have 9.81 for the Shifei test value of diet a and diet b now all we need to do is to drag this formula for us to have the other fs value for the critical value all we need to do is to multiply the degrees of freedom between groups which in this case is 2 so we have equal sign 2 or I can just select this cell times the CV or the critical value of the F test. In the ANOVA summary table, the F critical is 3.98. So we just need to multiply these two for us to get the critical value of the Shifei test. And the value is 7.98. 96. Note that we only use one critical value for each of these comparisons or pairwise comparisons. So meaning, um, we have proven that uh, there is a statistically significant difference between the mean after ANOVA or analysis of variance. And by doing the Shifei test, diet A and diet B has a Shifei value of 9.81 which is greater than 7.96. So meaning, there is a significant difference between diet A and diet B. While diet A and diet C has no significant difference because 0 0.08 is less than 7.96. But between diet B and diet C, there is a significant difference because the Shifei test is 11.8 and it's greater than the critical value which is 7.96. So, diet A and diet C has no significant difference while diet A and diet B and diet B and diet C have significant differences. That's all for this video. If you want more video tutorial about the data analysis in Microsoft Excel, you can always check my playlist in the description down below. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for your updates. See you in the next video.